Our financial decisions are made emotionally. We love something, so we want to get it. But do we love it enough to get into a bad decision with it? My name is Javon Francis. I'm a designer, photographer, small business owner, and car enthusiast. Growing up in Durban was rough. Because things were not good at home, financially, I would always try and find a way to become independent. So what I would do is I would, instead of taking the taxi fare, and I would walk five kilometers to school, save that cash, and then actually use that cash for things that I needed at home. And that kind of taught me how to become independent and self-sustaining. In starting your first business, the only way you can succeed is by building a good relationship with your clients. And in building that good relationship, your clients talk. And when your clients talk, that power of word of mouth is one of the biggest campaigns that you could ever have. After the business started falling apart, I realized that I needed to do something about my finances. And one of the lessons I learned was don't spend as much as you earn. Like if I knew that I could stash that away, that business would have been way more successful, but I spent that money. I would listen to other entrepreneurs, I would go to conferences, and in doing that, I learned that managing that money was so important. Instead of just spending the cash, I would, whatever I earned, I would put away for, for the household, and then whatever was left over, I would save up. Because I had the vision in mind that this business needs to be bigger than it is. I had the vision of expanding, and the only way you can expand is if you manage what you get. If you're constantly putting a massive amount of effort into five different things and only one thing makes you happy, if you're not able to be happy throughout this entire process, you're gonna, you're gonna dread doing your work, you're gonna dread doing your business, and then when it comes to playing, you're not gonna wanna do it at all. I think the moment that I realized that I made it was after my second business. So I had the design company, I had photography. When I started to rebuild that second business, I started making quite a bit of money. I was able to save up enough to buy my first property. It was the kind of achievement that nobody else has done it. None of your friends have done it. And for me, at that point, I felt I've done something. I've done something that I can be proud of. One of my biggest passions is cars. I love driving. I kind of stumbled upon the business opportunity behind it, fulfilling my passion, meeting new people and seeing new builds. Future vision for the channel is to become one of the biggest motoring channels in South Africa. We always work hard. We, we put in 100% of ourselves into our business and so on. If we're not celebrating those small milestones, it doesn't become worth it.